we spotted another one. So, uh, this branch, okay, we have a giant one in front of us. We're going to the branch behind it that goes and curves left. It splits. We're taking the top split up, and he is the top green above the leaves below this giant fat branch in front of us. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Yes, I do have an idea. Right there. I hit him in the head. He is just leaned over right now. Some people slowed down on me, so we ain't gonna get <laughs> So yeah, he's, up landing on he's leaned over. Oh, oh, he just he just leaned left. Did you see the movement? Yeah. You see where he's at? That car is right where we don't want to be shooting. They dropped off somebody. How you doing? You gonna try to drop? Let's get this guy. He's still in the same spot. That branch that goes up to the left. We can see his tail coming over the branch towards us, and his spikes. Can you see him? No, not yet. Okay, follow this branch straight up. You see him right here. Got it. You see him now? Yeah, let's go. We got a vehicle we're going to wait on here. I see a third iguana right now. Dang. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get this guy. The other one's over here to the right in just a second. There. One. Solid bounce on the ground. Look. The other one is right here to the right. He's lounging with his arms off the branch, just laying on his belly. Can you see him over the branch, just above the Yeah, yeah, go branch. for him. You see him? Up. Oh, that is a hot, piping hot side of disrespect. And come on down. That was number two. I think there's a third one right here. There oh, is. Yeah. There's a big one. He's looking down. So he's on the far branch that goes as far as it can away from us, a little to the right. And okay. he's looking down at us. He's a big yeah, size one. Wow. Mm, mm, wow, mm. that one. Oh, he sees up. Look at this here. Look at this here. Look, just just dropping. Yeah. That's called grouping. <laughs> grouping those shots. Yeah, as you can see, the weather isn't looking too hot right now. So we got that iguana rain going on. You think we could put an MOA coin next to them? I'm dead. Got you, iguana. So, I kind of can't give you directions except that you can see the silhouette of the iguana through the leaves from below. Copy that. Drop it, man. Drop it. See if I can get where I can get a headshot. I can see the white and the green legs and the tail. This should be right. Right there. This is a chest shot. What's that truck? That motorcycle scared him. <laughs> you see him? Go for it. Got a dangler. Let's see if we can dangle him down. Oh, here he comes. No. Really? That's like a break dance hanging thing. 
This guy here, man. You got freaking Christmas tree ornaments. You, your Christmas coming early. Like you're decorating out here. Goodness. He's seriously clinging on though. This is after taking these rounds. So again, this isn't like shooting a mammal sometimes. And. He has one through his ear and one behind his eye. Mm -hmm. And then there's the mm -hmm. chest shot I took. Yeah, look, it exited behind the ear. Great shot. Got your equiner. So he just had Jessica's by the two iguanas. Oh man, you, you doubled down from thirty about thirty yards away, but he uh moved over but that one was a brand new one that had run out so we got them both got two iguanas and we'll uh, be back jermaine just told me that there's a snake in this little pool but if we get over there he's not a snake this is a legless lizard it's a very large one and he's probably going to get overheated and die in here you can see he has limited shade look how fantastic he is so he has ears you can see an ear hole on the side of his head here and that's how you know he's a lizard and not a snake he also would have a lizard tongue and not a snake tongue if he sticks his tongue out. He's also known as a glass, uh, a glass lizard because he um, will lose his tail and kind of like let his tail fall off like a normal lizard would, but it appears that he's falling apart because he doesn't have legs. So this is a legless lizard. He's native to Florida. If you look, this one's really fantastic with blue cheeks. quite different from a snake. He's also very docile, as you can see. There was his tongue. So, I don't just... see him. Do you see him? Uh, let's see. Actually, yes, I do. You? Yeah. I see him, I see him, I see him. Sorry, I got excited about that. It is exciting. Well, and there he is. We got a dangler. A disrespectful dangler. Uh, uh, uh. Let's undangle him. So she's going to go ahead and try to do a shot that dislodges. A D dangler. A D dangler shot. Still trying to hang on. I'll shoot him in the foot if he didn't fall in a second. It's a really small spot. All right, we're gonna do the back foot. Oh, didn't have to. Oh, there's a beehive over there. Oh no. Yeah, they're out too. Come on, let's go. So there's an active beehive. Bees out. Where this iguana drop. Look at the iguana poop right here. Here we go. Oh my. Got what? you, iguana. Boy, it looks like hot candle wax on his face. Just blew that all off. Go for it.
I didn't get to see where he fell. I was still looking through the scope. I just heard it. He sprang off that branch and dropped Here about right where you're looking. You can see him down there. They're moving. They're moving. I'm getting the top one first. Copy. Just move behind the tree for me. I'm hitting this lower one now. Him. He's wiggling upside down. <laughs> we got another one up there, you say? Yeah, very far. He's a spinner. If he was in the water. On the middle branch watching us. Tell me when to go. Go ahead. Got you, Iguana? Oof. guys so surprisingly we ended up finding another five iguanas at the same property we got five here yesterday in the same two trees and so um, that's 10 in two days and we're gonna get we also got three more on friday so we're at 13 in just a few days of coming by here so they clearly did have an iguana issue they've been eating the plants pooping by the pool they're about to have a couple bushes removed because the iguanas is a very small property we expect that they're having such a big problem because if you look around, nobody else has large trees for the iguanas to hang out in. So this is their best opportunity for blocks for them to be able to have a place to sit in a large tree. So I think that these big trees actually attract the iguanas and give them habitat. And they can't really wrap them because they're too knobby and too branchy. So they just have to get the iguanas out. Got you iguanas. Look at another big one by that wall down there. Jesus, these are monsters. I'm trying to catch up. I'm just, all right. We got a giant boy right here about 12 yards away. He started walking. Make sure he didn't roll over in the water. Under the brown tree, the big boy. He's got two more behind him. Like, look look what the it sure is. Right here, looking over the wall. Under the tree. Walking away, big. A meal. That big one's dead right there. Get the fence. Right here, sneaking along? Yeah. And that big boy's still over there. Let's go over here and see if we see any more of them. I should be out of pellet. These are the two iguanas we just got right here. They both stopped at the edge of the bush, so we shot them both at the edge of the bush. Oh, somebody was in the bush and jumped in. They're sleeping together. Got you, iguanas.
There's a Bitcoin over here that we got too. Hey, Miss Kathleen. We don't have to come back. He's trying to make a run for it. Oh my goodness. You around here thread needles today, huh? The iguana seamstress. Got it. Who's the thing? Wow. Catch me, Brown. Now we're still grabbing. I think. He's actually from the rest of his butt. He's going about 30 yards away on the ground under the acacia palm. He's moving now. Take that. Got you, Ivana. That is some fine shooting. Pull this back. There's another one hidden back here. I told him to get work. We're gonna see if he's still there. Right there, right there, right there. He's really close, like six yards. He's spinning right here. Holy cow, he went to Cobra. Can we reach? Oh, he's just all over the place. He's in my hand, that's where he's at. Oh, because I got you, Iguana. Nice. Got you, Iguana. <laughs> Thrill. We got all of them. Man, she was just telling me something about somebody who a master of cheeses is called a cheese cheesemonger. She's our iguana monitor. You hear that? Yes, that was a good sign. Let's find him. Don't scare him too bad. About 20 yards. You can see the leak coming from him right below the cheek. And he's gone to sleep. Let's try to knock him down. Oh, nope. I think she's just going to get the snare. Got your iguana. First. Doing the one on the left. And then I think, yeah, there's a big iguana. You see him do the back window? Let's back up. You see him? I can't back up too much more. I know. You're good okay, though. You got, got like six feet. Stop. Right there. Right there. Right there. See the boy looking bigger? over the top of the grass? Yes, I do. Okay, and there's another one further down. Wait, wait, wait. Where's he at? I lost him. Are He's there... still sitting there. Got him. Clock then. And then the other big one we're going to have to jump out for. Shoot me a bottom. Go for it. Good job. So yeah, further down, over there. and then there's a fourth one also.
Yeah. All right, we have a little iguana buddy over here. He likes to poop all over the edge of the dock. We can show you in just a second. We got this guy in the coconut palm. He's maybe 12, 13 yards away. Okay guys, there's a second iguana. He's right at the edge of the property here. Um, we might hit concrete, but I'm expecting if I get a ricochet to hit that embankment of grass behind it to purposely catch that sort of angle on it. Over the edge of the gray right here. You see his head? Right. Took him down. Took him down. It's got a hole through the top of his head. Look at this. Gotcha. Put him to sleep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Got you, you stinking iguana. He's about to roll off. This is a really big boy for here. We've been doing removal for like two and a half years here. And the seawall stays pretty free except for one spot where some owners protect the iguanas. So I think this one came from down there because man, he's a really good size. Got you, iguana. Ooh, tore him up. Like the bite here. Got you, Iguana. He was like seven, eight yards. 